Hey everybody, time for the update for the uh, solid bar grower LED area and uh, since we thinned it out, this chard has really taken off. You can actually see they're starting to get the curled leaves for the chard and a lot of these sprouts. And uh, you know, this chard over here has taken off and grown a lot more since we uh, thinned out some of the bigger ones. Now we have a lot more big ones in here to uh, thin out this week. And then this chart over here, it's ready for another cutting. Because we thinned this one out pretty heavy if you saw in that one video I did. Let me grab the camera and I'll bring it over there so you can get a better look. Yeah, so you can see how this chart, I mean, this is just beautiful looking chart. And then you saw in that video how much chart it takes. And when you saute it down, you're not left with much because uh, we ate pretty much that whole pan for that evening's uh, meal. We had enough left over for the next day. We Paula put into some uh, homemade uh, breakfast burritos with that charred uh, onion and uh, mushroom saute that she had done. That was really good. And you can see uh, here's the new growth. They're starting to put on a lot of nice true leaves. I'll thin this out eventually once I find out, you know, we get these bigger ones and there's going to be the stragglers down below. We'll just pop those out and eat those as microgreens. And here's the, uh, it almost looks like a squash leaf, but I mean, they could be a cucumber. I'm not sure. We'll, you know, we'll know in another week or so, but uh, they're the pop-ups. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, you know, here's some more of the chard. It's starting to come in and we'll be harvesting off this. I mean, having these two trays for our meals is going to be great. You know, we're gonna have a lot of great healthy sauteed uh, vegetables coming up into the, uh, the early spring. And this is the these are all Silverado chard over here, so you can see they're really taking off. And then you can see here because of the compost, whatever you have in that worm compost, you're gonna get the seeds to germinate. We got a little tomato plant coming up here. I'll probably uh, you know let it grow for a bit, see what happens with it. Maybe I'll pull them out and uh, stick them outside because we've been having some really unseasonably warm weather lately. Uh, today, I believe it was going to be 58, and we're at the uh, first week of January, or first week of February, end of January, and normally it's not that warm here at this time of year, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we're not going to have a cold snap and some of the trees that are already starting to bud for our fruit trees, that might uh, throw them back into dormancy and cut down on our food production this year for the fruit. But that's not, that's the outside. This is the inside update. Lights are doing well. No issues with the LEDs. Uh, really happy with how this chard is progressing and uh, it's gonna be a great addition to our uh, supplemental food diet all right well this has been Brian from PMB homesteading I'll talk to you guys again bye